Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to discuss how to weigh your trainer with your bathroom scale. We're gonna talk about that. So what I wanna do is I wanna weigh the tongue, tongue weight, and then I'll weigh both sides of the trailer, but I'll, I'll walk you through how I'm gonna do that. So if you're interested, follow. Okay, off. so first for the tongue weight, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my bathroom scale. It's good up to 330 pounds. So I know this is not gonna be over 330 pounds because I can lift it myself. You're gonna use a piece of plywood underneath for the feet. And then I'm just gonna set that over top to spread the load. And I'm just gonna put my jack right down on the middle there. Got my bottle jack just to lift it to slowly let the pressure down. Okay, slide my scale in there, <clears throat> wood on the top, and then set it down. Well, there we go, 250 pounds. Okay, so I got my propane tank here. And we'll just get the scale going. Yeah, 35 pounds. So, you get a 30 pound tank. So two of those, so another 70 pounds on the front of the trailers. Okay, so we got the front weight done. We know roughly what the, the tongue weight's gonna be. Now we're gonna try and do the back here to get that. So to do the back, to weigh it out, again, I'm just gonna use a scale, bathroom scale. I, I got a chunk of pipe here. Uh, it's uh, about 45 inches long. A couple pieces of angle iron. A couple pieces of angle iron and a couple pieces of plywood here. So with this, uh, I'm going to measure the weight of the, this trailer right now. So just uh, right now I've got the, the water tank is full. It's absolutely filled right to the brim. Uh, I've got my batteries in this side. So anyways, if you, if you wanna see how that's done, that's in previous videos. But it, everything is full as it is right now because I want an actual uh, driving, pulling weight for this trailer. So let's get to it. Okay, here we go. So this is a setup for the right hand side. This has got my batteries, a lot of weight of batteries here, and also uh, cabinets, that sort of thing. The scale right now, it can take 350 pounds, so obviously I was over that. That was with um, the angle iron over here at this far end, and even amount, the angle iron over there, with the tire right in the center of the bar. So what I did is I divided this center part with where the angle iron here was, divide that in half, so it was 22 inches before, now I put it at 11 inches there. So you can see right there where the angle iron is, that's 11 inches, so that puts more weight onto this part, onto this angle iron part, and then I weighed uh, this side here. So let's do that, let's get the, the weight here, and I'll show you what that is, and then we'll do the calculation to, to figure out what this whole side weighs. Okay, so let's get this, let's take the weight off of it here. Reset my scale. Just lift it, put it back down here. Get this back on there, lined up. So you got an extra eight pounds, seven pounds there. That's the metal, so I'll minus that from the end weight. And then we drop this down on there. There 
its full weight right now. So we've got 311 pounds. 311, I'll just mark that down. 311 minus 10. So 300 pounds. The weight's off this now. Uh, let's go do some calculations. We'll figure out what my trailer weighs. So again, we got the same setup as we did on the right-hand side. We've got our um, angle iron under here. I've marked that at 11 inches because this was 22 inches. I just did it in half, so that's 11. Uh, I got the mark, the center mark for the tire. That's right on the center tread, and then this angle iron over here on my scale. So let's get this measurement and then I'll, I'll show you how we do the math for it. There we go, full weight of the trader now is on the scale. 240 pounds. So 240 pounds minus 10 pounds for the bar. Mark that down, 240 pounds here. 40. Okay. Good. So we had 300 on the right side, 240 on the left side. Now I'll show you how we get the actual weight here because of the um, the difference of this lever. Okay. Here's my math, adding everything up. My nice little picture of a trader. So we got 250 pounds on the tongue. Well, it's actually on the jack, so it'd be a little bit less by the time you reach out where the, where the ball would go. But 250 pounds, then 70 pounds for two propane tanks. I think I'll probably travel with just one full, or maybe, yeah, one full and the other one may be empty, and then eventually just probably put one propane tank up here, because I just have the one stove inside. That's all, that's and the hot water tank that's running off propane. Anyways, 311 pounds over here. 240 pounds over here to get this weight uh, to the actual weight because we're using that lever remember this is how the math so take a 311 minus the eight pounds that the uh, the bar and the pieces of plywood weighed on top of the scale so you minus that from the 811 or from the 311 and then you times it by the length of the bar so from uh, from one, folk, uh, one angle iron all the way to the other angle iron, what that length is, so times the total length, and then you divide it by how far uh, this angle iron in here to the center of the tire. So I had it, basically it was 11 inches. So this was 11 inches from here to the inside of the tire. And then it was like another 22 out to where the scale was. So that's, yeah. 311 minus 8, figure that out, times it by 33, divided by 11, 909. Same on this side, 696. Add them all together, we've got 320, 696, 909, 1,925 pounds. So it's rough, not exact, because I mean, like, if you think of it, uh, the one tire over here is outside. Of the trailer so it's pivoting a little bit outside of the trailer um, there's just a few different factors that it's not an exact science I'll probably take it across the scale anyways but this gives me a rough idea of what it weighs and also how much um, my hitch weight is because you want to keep this roughly about 20 percent of the hitch weight uh, of the total weight uh, on your hitch so that you don't have a trailer sway going on so I think it's a pretty good setup. Uh, what I'm going to still do is I'm going to attach now my next video. I'm going to attach an anti-sway bar on here and a new jack. But this is this is pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you can use it for your own trailer build. But uh, it helps just to be able to measure everything with your bathroom scale.